In this video, I will go through how to clip sites from Google's photorealistic tiles that can be streamed into Unreal 5. You will notice that the Google tiles are great for aerial views and use in backgrounds. However, when you get up close, the quality can be very low and it's quite difficult to insert your own designs. This is why the capability to crop and clip out multiple key areas and replace with other tiles or your own models is very useful. I will briefly go through how to stream in the Google tiles, as it now has been made much easier with the Season plugin, and may be useful for those new to this. You will need to go over to the Marketplace in your Epic Games Launcher, and then search for Cesium, and you will need to install this plugin. I already have it installed, but you just install it into the engine that you are using. Then go to the Cesium Ion webpage, and sign up for an account. You can make a free one for educational use and it'll give you access to many tiles. Once you've logged in, you can go over to my assets and here you can see like a few examples of streams that you can then bring into Unreal Engine, which we'll go through in a bit. Let's load up a standard blank template under architecture, which works well for a typical cesium scene. Once this loads up, you have to go over to Edit, Plugins, and search for Cesium to activate that plugin. It will then prompt you to restart. Once restarted, you can close this Plugins tab. And if you don't see this Cesium sidebar, you have to go to Window, and you'll find Cesium here activated. You'll also need to connect to that Cesium Iron account that you made. So you click this, it will send you over to a web page where you just need to allow, and then it will authorize access to the account. You can then delete everything except for the player start, host process volume, and the volumetric cloud. You can then go to the Cesium sidebar here and add in a SunSkype. Dynamic Pawn and the Google Photorealistic 3D Tiles. It will ask you for a token so you can create a new token or make a name for it automatically and you can press Create New Project Default Token or you can use an existing one if you made one for previous projects. And then straight away, you will see some geometry streaming in. Automatically, the token should give you permission for the Google tiles. However, if it doesn't work, you may just need to go back to the Cesium Iron webpage. And if you go over to Access Tokens, you'll see all the tokens that you've created. So simply just select the one that you just made. So here is the Helsinki clipping. If you click Edit, and scroll to the bottom, you can see all of the available assets that you've activated. So you can see here that we do have the Google Photorealistic 3D tiles in. We always update it. Then select the Cesium Geo reference. And under the Details tab here, I'll pull this up. You can then set your latitude and longitude and height. So the easiest way to get to your location is to go over to Google Maps. Uh, just right click somewhere and then copy and paste these coordinates across. So latitude first. And then longitude. We can also reduce the origin height to be closer to the Earth, so maybe something like 50. There we go. You also see that the sky is black. That's because we need to change the time date. Go to the sun sky. Scroll down. And you see time and date. So let's change time zone to 2. It's looking much better. We can also go to the post process volume. Go to exposure. And set it to manual. 
and decrease this. That's a bit easier to control for now. I would then just zoom out, increase the camera speed. And for this example, I will want to clip out a section of the city. So I'll add a cartographic polygon. And then if you select this cartographic polygon here, you can change the scale. So I'll change the 10 and 10. And it covers a much larger portion of the city. And you can just move the transform whichever part you like. The height doesn't matter so much. It's just more the position. Let's also rename this to City Clip. We need to go to the photorealistic 3D tiles here. At the top, you can see this Add Components button. Search for Cesium Polygon Rasta Overlay, this one here. And then you will see we have options to add polygons here. You can add as many as you like. Let's click one. And from the drop down, you can then see we have our cartographic polygon city. And automatically, it is cutting away some of our terrain. However, we want it the other way around. So we can invert the selection. And then we will also have to uncheck the exclude select tiles. And there we go. In the same way, you can cut out other sites. If I add a cartographic polygon here, let's say I move it across, 3D tiles, select the polygon master overlay, and you can add it as another array. There you go. You can do this many times. However, you will see that if we want to move this polygon, for example, within the site, and then we can just refresh our tile set, it will take no effect. That's because all of them have the same settings to exclude the exterior. So if you want to have a combination of both, cutting in and out, you need to take another approach. I will first just rename the polygon to interior clip, so it is easier for us to later identify the internal area we want to remove. And then to get around the problem of various clipping zones, we will need to use multiple polygon overlays on top of the Google Photorealistic tiles and use custom clipping materials. This actually isn't too difficult, as the material is all set up, we just need to add an extra layer. To find this material, go over to the content browser and then search for cesium pre overlays and then open up this one. Then need to go over to the layer parameters tab and at the top here you will see that there is already a clipping layer and this is what is cutting out the tiles. Clip internally we would need to make a duplicate of this. So hit the plus button and then for the blend asset to select the cesium clipping and for the layer asset the cesium raster overlay. The only thing you need to change is to have a unique layer key at the top here. Let's call it clipping inner and then just save. If you go back to the 3D you can go to your photorealistic tiles and then you just need to add a second cesium polygon raster overlay. Click add, cesium polygon raster overlay. Let's just rename this to inner. And what's important is to change the layer key. So change this to clipping inner. Now we can add in that polygon. So let's select the 
polygon inner that we made. You also need to go back to the previous one and actually remove it. Let's just delete that. And now you can see it is working. With this method, you could then add in as many polygons as you want to clip internally and externally, and you have far more greater control. Select any of these polygons so you can move them around, and you just need to refresh your tile set, and then it will update. You can also adjust these polygons to any shape you want by moving the vertices. So if I select the inner clip, hit F to zoom in, you can click on a vertice here and just move the gizmo. You hold out and drag, it will duplicate it. Then you can make custom shapes. And you can right click and just delete spline points as well. And then once again, you just need to go to the tiles and refresh tile set. It takes effect. From here, you can then bring in your own geometry or custom tile sets. This can be done through Speckle, FBX files, or even Datasmith. And you can also combine with other tiles streamed from Cesium Iron this way. You can then cut out as many voids as needed and adapt. This is especially a versatile technique to combine and insert various models anywhere in the globe if you don't have any context. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.